Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Monday, May 23rd, and we are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our song for this morning is Now the Green Blade Rises. This is hymn number 379 in Evangelical Lutheran Worship, and we'll sing the first verse together. Now the green blade rises from the buried grain. We eat that in dark earth many days has lain. Love lives again that with the dead has been. Love is come again like weed arising green. Our quote for this morning uh, comes from Archbishop Oscar Romero. God is not satisfied with appearance. God wants the garment of justice. God wants Christians dressed in love. <clears throat> Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 93. The Lord is king and robed in majesty. The Lord is robed and girded with strength. God has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunders of mighty waters. More majestic than the waves of the sea. Majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. Our Old Testament reading comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verses 16 through 22. <clears throat> Some Benjamites, Benjaminites, and Judahites came to the stronghold of David. And David went out to meet them and said to them, If you've come to me in friendship to help me, then my heart will be knit to you. But if you come to betray me to my adversaries, though my hands have done no wrong, then may the God of our ancestors see and give judgment. Then the spirit came upon Amasai, chief of the thirty, and he said, We are yours, O David, and with you, O son of Jesse. Peace, peace to you, and peace to the one who helps you, for your God is the one who helps you. Then David received them and made them officers of his troops. Some of the Manassites deserted to David when he, became, when he came with the Philistines for the battle against Saul. Yet he did not help them, for the rulers of the Philistines took counsel and sent him away, saying, He will desert to his master Saul at the cost of our heads. As he went to, King Z at, to Ziklag, these Manassites deserted to him. Adna, Josabad, Jediel, Michael, Josabad, Elihu, and Zilathai, chiefs of the thousands in Manasseh. They helped David against the band of raiders, for they were all warriors and commanders in the army. Indeed, from day to day, people kept coming to David to help him until there was a great army, like an army of God. Our New Testament reading comes from Revelation chapter 21, verses 5 through 14. <clears throat> and the one who was seated at the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the sexually immoral, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and said to me, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And the Spirit carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal. It is a great high wall of twelve, with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates are inscribed the names that are the names of the twelve tribes of the Israelites. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. 
and the wall of the city has twelve foundations, and on them are the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.